Hey guys, it's Slushy. If you don't know me, then you do now. Subscribe, like the video, if you do like it later on. But anyway, I'm going to start my top 10 favorite horror films of all time. So, should I start from number one or last? I'll start from my, uh, the last one on the list. Okay, so coming in at number 10 is, um, one of, personally, one of the coolest movies I think I've ever seen involving puppets is Dead Silence. Really awesome movie. I'm not going to talk much about it. Basically, it's uh, I'll, I'll just give you a brief summary of what it's about. Basically, it's simply about uh, old ventriloquist who controlled puppets, uh, people humiliate her, and uh, she's doing something very sinister with involving kids and involving puppets and tongues, which is very awkward, but I didn't say that. And at number nine is Friday the 13th, New Blood. It's an awesome movie. Kane Hutter's first movie in the Friday the 13th series, which is a great movie, and I love it, and there's nothing really I can say about it. It's a Friday the 13th movie. Huh. You've seen one? You've seen them all. Uh, coming in at number nine, or eight, god dang, I can't count, Halloween, the original Halloween. Now, you're wondering why it's probably higher up late, not higher, higher up in the list? Well, you'll find out later, but it's a great movie, and if you want to start your involvement with horror probably start with halloween but uh yeah coming in at number seven 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 i can't freaking count texas chainsaw 2003 remake it's an awesome movie i suggest you watch it basically it's the original texas chainsaw toned up with the violence about fifteen thousand percent so if you like violence watch texas chainsaw remake if you don't probably don't watch it uh coming in at number six the whole Paranormal Activity Collection, these would be ranked individual, but I figured why not just use my entire ranking with just the whole set. It's because all these fit, all of these movies fit into category number six, just simply because they're all really good. And honestly, I would probably rank the marked ones, not the marked ones, Ghost Dimension. Ghost Dimension would probably be at like number two. I want to make that clear before the before this thing gets going. But anyway, coming in at number five. Rob Zombie's Halloween remake probably got a crap ton of criticism for that, but you know what? It's an actual decent movie. Um, in fact, I feel like it's better than the original. Where's the hate comments? There they are! Oh, wow. Surprise. Uh, but it's a great movie. I suggest you watch it. If you've already seen it and you're probably hating on me in the comments, well, clearly you don't know good movies. Um, coming in at number four is uh, one of my personal favorites in the Friday the 13th series, which is also probably going to give me some heavy criticism and hate comments. Friday the 13th Killer Cut 2009, which everybody hated on, but me and probably like five other people in the entire world. But it's a great movie. Derek Mears is awesome in it. He's probably the second best Jason in Friday the 13th history. I'm just saying. Okay, coming in at number three is also one of my personal favorite horror films is The Gallows. Gallows is an incredibly good scary movie by Jason, the producer of Insidious, Paranormal Activity, The Purge, Ouija, Ouija 2, you know, Sinister, Sinister 2, you know, all those, every single good popular horror movie that's came out in the last decade, you know, made them all. Uh, the Gallows is awesome. Check it out. If you, haven't, if you have seen it and you're hating on me for having it in this list, screw you! It's a great movie, damn it! Um, coming in at number two is another Texas Chainsaw. Which one is it? Which It's the next generation. No, I'm kidding. I would not disappoint you guys like that. It's Texas Chainsaw 2013. If you're disappointed by it either way, screw you! It's a great movie. Love it. Dan Yeager was awesome. Um, and this is only the fr front cage. Oh, front, did I say front cage? I meant front case. Oh, 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 ah! God damn. There we go. Wait, I feel very disappointed, because the same thing that's on the stupid cover kit- Ah, frick! Same thing is on the stupid plastic- Okay, let me move on. Now this next one is what got me into horror in the first place, which is the only reason why it's in this list. And besides that, it's a great movie. It's really the best Halloween movie in the franchise. I probably spoiled it there, but it's one of the Halloweens. What you guess? What you guess? It's Rob Zombie's Halloween 2! No, I'm kidding. It's Halloween 4. Halloween 4 is what got me into horror- and look at that. That's the other side of my face, boys. There's the other side of my face, boys. I'm Michael Myers up in this... Be no, okay. Uh, but uh, it's a great movie. It's one of the best movies in the in horror. And I think it was so action-packed for its time of 1988. 
and it just had so many good points. Like it was, it's literally the shining point of the entire series. But yeah, that's my top ten. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. I'll be sure to do more rankings of the videos, maybe top fives, top tens, you know, all that good stuff, boys. But this is my ranking of the top ten, my top ten favorite horror films. Hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't seen any of these movies, get them on Netflix, get them on Vudu, get them on Amazon, get them on the street from a hobo named Billy Bob Joe. Get them anywhere you can as long as you pay for them and give the money to the studios and the people that made the movie. Makes sense? I'm glad. See you in the next video. Like the video. Subscribe. Get slushy with it.